Hey guys, I'm here. I just finished filming with Take 180, and I'm here with Devin and Oren. Hi. Let me get the camera right here. There we hey go. Hey guys, <laughs> we're up upside down. And uh, the, we have a really uh, hilarious <laughs> sketch, and I'll let you guys know when it's up. It's really cool. So. Yes, you Thanks should you watch guys. it. Yes, I mean, you good. I didn't do anything, but she's a genius. <laughs> just kidding. He's right. <laughs> so I'm at a drive-thru. This is my first time being at a drive-thru with the side, with the, the window on the right. Here I am in the driver's seat on the left, and the window's on the right. I'm so not used to that. Weird. I went around and I was like, everything's cool, and I'm like, wait a second, how do I pay for this? <laughs> I had to reach all the way across and grab everything. That's funny. So Lisa and I are here. She's getting ready. It's so ironic. She's getting ready to, to record uh, What to Say by Jason Derulo, which is about cheating. And she's like, well, I don't want to sing. Maybe I might want to flip the first verse so it doesn't sound like I'm cheating. And I was like, well, it's a song, so if you, you know, you sing it, you sing it. And as we talk about it, she gets a call from some chick. She's like, I just want to know that, you know, who this is because I found your number on boyfriend's phone and, and some text messages today and Lisa's like, I don't know this guy. So it's really, I'm like cracking up right now because... No, I don't, I'm meeting with him actually on, um, on Monday or Tuesday for him to do that for me. But, um, don't worry about it. I won't even mention it to him, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Okay. You too. Bye. Ooh, what you been doing? <laughs> what have you been doing, Lisa? Oh my God, that's so horrible. What happened? Uh, Lisa was cheating on me today. Weren't you, Lisa? <laughs> so I get a phone call from some girl who's like, did you call this number today? And I was like, uh, I don't think so. She goes, well, actually, this is my boyfriend's cell, and I saw that you guys texted each other, and you called each other today, so I just found it weird, and I was calling to find out what it was about. And I was like, uh, what's your boyfriend's name? She's like, Brian. I'm like, I didn't speak to anybody named Brian today, and she's like, she goes, was well, this your phone? Or do other people share the phone too? I'm like, no, it's only my phone. She goes, uh, well, I just find it weird. I said, well, if you think your boyfriend is cheating on you, uh, he's not with me. <laughs> I'm in a happy relationship and, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what else to tell you. And I was like, what does he do? Is he, you know, is he an, is an artist or whatever? And she goes, well, he's a painter. And then I was like, oh, okay. I actually called him because I wanted him to do some, some mural for me that I wanted done. And I called him for that. I've known him for a while. I met him a really long time ago and he gave me his cards. This was like four years back. So I called him because I wanted him to do something for me before Christmas. And then she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. I, I feel your pain. Because <laughs> trust me, she, actually what she said to me was that she went through his phone bill and that's how she found my number and that we've been calling each other. And I said, I'm actually going to see him on Tuesday. And I said, but don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let him know that you called me. It's between us girls. And she's like, okay, thank you. I'm so sorry about that. I'm like, it's okay. Isn't that weird? Isn't that like, I felt so bad for her. I was like, oh, that's so sad. And it was funny because I'm sitting there, like she got the call as I was sitting there. So that was funny to me. Like I knew nothing was up. And the guy that the girl was calling about actually, like I, I, know, I know about the guy too. So I knew the guy she was talking about. So it wasn't like I was like, who are you going to meet to get what done? I wonder if she's going to show up at the place and we're going to have like our own little secret like I got you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like, who are you calling today? You know what I'm saying? Let me find out how that. I gotta, you know, flatten some caps, son. Son. So guys, on a level of one to ten, if your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, wife, husband, whatever, spouse, had gotten a call like that, how would you react? Would you immediately be like, hey, what's going on? Or would you be like, ah, something's, it'll work itself out. Scale of one to ten, let us know.